Welcome back to Racing with Jesse Rosinski. I love when that thing works on the first try. Happy Friday. At least to me, it doesn't feel like a Friday. The way my day started out feels kind of like another manic Monday. You're welcome. There's a shout out to you guys in that beautiful, beautiful song. But before we get to everything, there's a few things I want to touch on with Walter because, you know, for some reason, every time I ask some, about some of these things, I don't know, I haven't watched it yet. And I'm just impatient. But first, what do you think about the F1 GP for the, for the uh, for, uh, F1? I liked it. Got to watch it at the bar. Oh, yeah, there you Fun. go. Touche. That, mm -hmm. That's where you were. Don't scratch that line. I watch qualifying at the bar. Watch the race at home. Anyway, same difference. Yeah, I was at the bar. The there's a couple of drinks involved. So, anywho, that was help. But I, I thought they did a good job for being the first, you know, time there. Obviously, there's stuff they have to improve. But I did like the layout. Like you said, though, there is some things for improvement. Um, what's not the different race? Never mind. Well, that notes my different race. Sorry. Sector three. I mean, going two hundred plus. All the way down there, and they're pretty much slamming on them for there. I mean, they did exactly. a good job. They made it technical. Uh, that means you saw qualifying races where, like, everyone's trying to figure out what the hell happened to the Mercedes because, like, Friday they're doing really, really good. Qualifying comes around, not so much. And then <clears> by the end of the day, Sunday, they're fifth and sixth. What the hell was going on there? Uh, well, there was a lot of people, like, they come in and they, boom, there was just herds of people around the cars being qualified. It's like, what? It's not good. Whatever is going on, I promise, is not good because that's way too many people around one car. Mm -hmm. And they brought their own stalls in and all that stuff too. So props on them for traveling with all that stuff. That's a uh, same. But I, my, my only problem with it really was, and it wasn't even the track, even though, you know, there's some surface stuff they're going to have to do and, you know, figure it all out. But again, first time. Was but the big problem for me was Red Bull having like that six mile an hour you know advantage over the whole field on the straightaways. Like, no offense to the well, world, it it was made amazing. for a made for a, a boring race because I mean he raced Char for a lap maybe and then he just drove away the rest of the time. That's a problem. That was my only problem with the whole weekend. But uh, I know when I was watching him in qualifying. I heard a couple guys talking about it to me at the bar, and they were going, man, man, why are them going so much faster? I went, in my mind, I had one opinion. I didn't want to say it out loud because I did not know who all was sitting in the bar, and I was not that's, looking for a fight. That's why. Because <laughs> you. <laughs> but that's my so I told him, I was like, they just seem to be good this year, one, but they also have all their cars running and running right, so that helps. I said, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I am sitting next to you drinking a beer. I can't 100% answer your question. But anyways, I felt like they did good, but I would definitely question on the Red Bull racing, why are they to the degree that they are so much better than everybody else? I have a hard time believing all the other people just suck. Yeah, six mile an hour difference last oh, week. I'm not saying anyone's and... cheating. I'm just saying somewhere something is slightly leaning. Yeah, everyone has, you know. Had to, re, you know, they all got redone, you know, cars and everything for this season. So it's a new car, but I mean, six look miles, at the noses. An hour. Look at the noses in NASCAR. They had to change the Camaro one because <laughs> the you know, first six, year it was not good. Six miles an hour, you know, on big one. And so far, the only races Max Verstappen hasn't won with all that advantage is the two where he blew up. Yeah. So now would Shar have beaten him still at? Yeah, you know, when we were in Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, whatever thing was Saudi, like that's quite well, could he have done it, but because he was up there racing with them. But you know, he's won everything. Uh, and they did have troubles on Sunday, didn't his his teammate was barking that he was losing power and blowing up again on like lap 20, but somebody finished fourth. So even with his car malfunctioning, he was that still was, best. So there was fourth. two or three people that had a Kevin Harvick moment like that. I've only heard one other person say that in my life when it comes to racing, and that is Kevin Harvick. This car's garbage, but yet somehow 
he dominates and wins the race. Just saying, as much as I'm a Kevin Harvick fan, really, dude, your car is garbage. Your car is absolute hey. garbage. There's no way to hey, fix just, it. Just piss him off. <laughs> That'll do it. Yes, yes, that will. That, Especially in the cars. A good way to fix turbo gear. Especially, you know, in the cars he was driving that year. I mean, you could have literally given him a dump truck. It wouldn't have made a difference. Him or Denny was going to win the race. And then, well, so we'll get into that. Uh, Supercross, as you still haven't told me, because you kept saying I haven't watched it yet. What about Justin Barsha's move? Or actually lack there of move. Uh, and Malcolm, I think he deserved more than a 10-point you know, penalty for because if he caught him like in the leg or anything, that could have easily broke something because he didn't even try to turn. I mean, he just went. So I do in. have I do have feelings about this in more than one way. Like he one way I have feelings. Crunch. One way I have feelings about this is I've seen this happen to Malcolm's brother numerous times with a couple drivers years ago. And and the penalties then I felt were not sufficient to say, hey, look, there has to be a form of an attempt to not completely run over the person. And you got to at least move a little. You have to attempt to Tenth. look like you're trying to compete, not not just not completely eliminate them from the race. Yeah. And with that none said, of that. Though, <laughs> there was with none that being of that. said, though, they only gave him 10 points. I do disagree with that. I also think that when that stuff starts happening, they should that should take a permanent mark on their, their AMA card. Their license, they, that, that should put a, a negative mark on their license because I, I can tell you right now, if I went to a circle track or and did yeah, that. Circle track, in any form You'd be done. and did that, you could guarantee I'm not coming back on the track. Like yeah. after that wreck and whatever is done, you guarantee my car would not come back on the track because you can't. It'd be like Montoya in the in the blower. Boom. Yeah. I kept watching like and Malcolm, that's what you gotta do when you're trying to get third the points. So sorry. I figured he'd do the same. Actually, about two or three turns before that, he just outdrove you and went around you, not even getting close to you. He just being aggressive. Out, he just and trying to, over he aggressively but, outmaneuvered him. And they were still about that far apart, but he made a very clean, aggressive pass. He just T-boned him. Being aggressive and going for a win is one thing. I've heard, I mean, well, we've all witnessed Kyle Bush and Kevin Harvick situations. Well, like we see it all the time where people just, you know, we, even on Supercross. But they're still competing see it. and trying to go with them. Like, yeah, we see it in Supercross like this year. Look at all the times Jet went down and he drove through the field like a son bitch. You know, many people he just T-boned or wrecked to get around them? Pretty much none of them. Why? Because he aggressively outmaneuvered people, outbroke them, braked them, whatever we're going to say. And, and he didn't just... I don't know if that was most loud because of my hand or because I just punched myself in the brim of my hat with my thumb when I did that. But yeah, I thought he deserved more than that. And I think the boos were very warranted and kudos again to Malcolm who actually liked my, our post on Facebook when I shouted out to him for not being a complete douche rocket yep. because I would, I would roll to the end and they punched him right in the teeth. Uh, again, anger issues. Don't have, you know, Yamaha cat was, yeah. Star energy all that stuff, you know, backing me. So I can't punch someone in the face, whatever the hell it is. But yeah, I didn't like the move. And that's how people go, well, it's just tough racing. Like, but T-boning someone and you saw there, even if he attempted to move, I'd be okay with it. What that was, he just made sure he went over that jump hard enough that he was going to hit him hell or high water. See, I also have a brain for the name. <laughs> then, they gave him, then they, and then they gave him, like, oh, you're penalized 10 points wide because now you lose to him by two. You feel like that. You get like 50 points wide for being a complete dick. You lose two races of the season. Bye-bye. There's been a couple drivers over the years in the Supermoto Series and the Motocross Series that it's one thing to race rough, but if you become a nasty person, that doesn't look good on you. Nope. Driving like a dick. Yeah. Why do you yeah. think everybody loved Ricky Carmichael? Even when something bad would happen to him, nobody ever lost any love for Ricky Carmichael because he was such a likable guy that that was that. Now, he there was, was other drivers who accidentally did something that people wanted to take their heads off just because, well, they yeah. were known to be. Oh, I mean, again, look at, you know, that comes back. I mean, it's a perfect conversation. 
to have, actually, as we're getting off of that and moving to last weekend, especially as last week, last week, last weekend, see, last weekend, NASCAR last weekend was in Darlington and the heads that blew off when Kyle put around chase. I'm sorry. We've seen Kyle dart in and out of all kinds of things. I, he did all hell broke. No one was there. I mean, thank God Alan got again, bro. Like, like, you know, he didn't mean to do it. We've all seen him make that move a million times. We saw him do it a few times just this last week. Like he does like, but all everyone's like, the eruption that came from everything from both Kyle Busch fans, Kyle Busch haters and Chase Elliott haters. Cause I don't know how he's the most popular driver in NASCAR because every time you look at any post, it's just people dumping all over the guy. Sorry. He's talented. He was a senior in high school and won the Xfinity championship. So yeah, if you want to ask a question, it's talent. Go ask his dad. Awesome. Bill from Dawson bill will tell you, but that was just, yeah, perfect. Cause I mean, that happened at Darlington and I don't think, it, you know, Kyle, I mean, Kyle, I mean, he'll Doria. I can't remember any too many times where I've seen Kyle just straight up T-bone someone just for the hell of it. I mean, I've seen him get mad at people, and I mean, he will shove you out of the way. Oh, yeah. Actually, he'll let you know that you shouldn't have done that. But I've never seen him just that's overly aggressive. It's just everyone hates him. Again, it's Kyle Busch. Don't worry, fully understand it. Most of the time, you know, I respect him. I just most of the time you look at me, you're going, God, you're a dick. Mm-hmm. But anyway, as we're on to Darlington, I thought it was nice to see Matty D get the most popular, you know, best in class for the throwback scheme to Sterling Marlin and the Silver Bullet. I yep. thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it was good to see him in the top 10. It was weird to see, was it Chandler Smith? Just completely suck. That was, yeah, that was really weird. Again, my notes are down under me, so I'm trying to go off of. What's in my head? Well, I was so far with second. I know that. Uh, John Hunter, he deserved to win. Look at the way he qualified four tenths of a second faster than I mean, when you're that good. If, if he didn't win, you start questioning that kind yeah. of stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, and again, strategy and stuff. But crowd, I mean, and Matty D got a top 10. Uh, Todd Bodine was ninth, which Matty D wouldn't have been in the top 10 of Kraft and didn't get penalized and dropped down to last because of, you know, his front end was too low. But I thought it was still good racing all weekend um ty gibbs i get i do i yeah i don't like the bastard we all know i don't like him talented but i don't like him his bobby labani throwback and again i mean it probably threw more points just because interstate batteries does come back were you trying to figure out who took third in the trucks i mean you could go there well no i just i was just going off of people in my mind i I knew todd bodine was yeah i knew todd bodine was ninth Good on you, Todd. Would have been a top 10 regardless of Crafton. And, well, Matty D, you snuck into one because Crafton got penalized. Hey, take it. He still ran 11th, which is the best he's done forever because he's had the worst luck known to mankind. Yeah. It's, reass- it's reassuring. I'm getting notifications with my ringer on and my phone's not making a sound. That's even better. But I thought it was good. Again, Ty Gibbs, I hate him. But his throwback yeah. one. And shout out to Interstate Batteries again for still working with them. So every time they want to do one of those. They do. I thought uh, I thought Jeremy Clements deserved best in show, though, for the senior, you know, Wrangler throwback. I thought he did a good job. And again, good racing. Good to see Al Geyer. Good to see Al Geyer up there. Yeah, finally get a win. I think it was, what, 40 races since his last win. He was long overdue. Again, he's had a lot of dumb stuff happen. Yeah. Cause him to not win. That and like, he has. And, you know, then I'm going to let you talk after I finish this. And then the Cup Series race, I mean, I actually enjoyed it. Um, People could pass. There's some idiocy. You know, people were pussies, but well, hate to break it to you. We all know who they are. And we have to thank Recky. Yep. If it wasn't if it wasn't for Recky, Harvick would have been ninth to twelfth, somewhere in there. Thankfully, Recky decided to wreck nine cars. So Kevin got to move up. There was less people to pass when you take out a quarter of the field because you're an idiot. I will give him credit, though. He was running good. Yeah, he Recky was fourth. Uh, was right off. I say he was up front, and Kevin again, he was around eighth to 12th. I'll say all day. I mean, he wasn't much higher than that, except for random times, but he ran solidly right around there. So, from where we ran last year, a bunch of races, not you know, last year there because he finished second last year in this race. Yeah, well, never mind. That's for Kansas. He did, he's running better this year, though. He's running, they're slowly getting there. 
you know, he had a good few races last year, but they're getting better. And again, he was a solid top 12 car, which last which year. Which I'm kind of shocked he's doing better this year than he did last year, especially since they have completely new suspension yeah. in the rear this year. So. Yeah, but it's just the car, Maybe man. Maybe it's out for him. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but um, – and my final thought – oh, second to final thought. One, good job, Harrison Burton. Again, half the field was wrecked out almost, but – Finished like what 14th? Good on him. What that's better yeah, than Maddie. Like that. That's better than Maddie did, even if half the cars were gone. Like you still got up there. You didn't run into anything. So good on you. And to answer Bubba Wallace's question, which I did on Monday. Anyway, I Tuesday, sorry. I don't know what I did to piss off the racing gods. One, you either run terrible or you wreck out. Two. I'm pretty sure we can all think of a few reason things that you could have done. Piss off the racing gods. Not, yeah, you know, just Talladega. Sorry, the week after Talladega when it was disproven and you kept running your mouth about being victimized when you know it's really sad about didn't that. even see it. As he made the accusation yeah. at the one track, you question why you pissed the racing gods off. Look what track you made that accusation at. You never think saw it, but you still did it. Five seconds and think about where that was at. Oh, one of the gods actually loved that track, was great at that track. But anyway, your feelings on all of it, because I thought the racing was actually pretty good. Race I was thought, great. I thought uh, they were done with I, the I weather because the weather looked I will, sketchy. Uh, I want to debunk something. Kyle said he couldn't make that turn. Kyle could make that turn. I'm just leaving that there. See, I forgot about that. Like, so you made the really sharp turn all the way. Like around the end, like, and then you maybe Mike Joy was finally right and had something to do with him just barreling through the garage, running over cones, like, like just damn near running people over in a fit of rage. Was, yeah, no, I'm just, but he was beeline, dude. He dead set, I'm going to change. That's all he cared about doing. Yeah. Well, well, you saw what no one got a word, but he comes back, oh, what couldn't make the turn. And that was it. Like, yeah, what right, you keep what. You live in your little world. I'll let you keep doing that. But even Kyle Bush fans have to go. <coughs> How did you make it all the way back around? The only thing I will say that when he did try to make that turn that he did wrong was he didn't go wide enough. I just don't think he was. He well, should have yes. with a broken wheel, but yeah. I know he could have made the turn yeah. he was on. I just, again, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know exactly what was wrong with the car. I just know if you made that sharp radius around the track to get on the pit road, if you did it, I just don't think he. I, I well, think he at was, that point, though, with his I think he was over it. And wheel out, he had already yeah. driven far yeah. enough that that was just straight up yeah. already flat and just skidding. This yeah. was going to go wherever you told it to go. Yeah. I just all you had to do was get the other tire to just. He was over it. We all know he was over it. You know what exactly? <laughs> what, and he probably knew if he stood there and waited, and somebody yeah. had to interview him, he was going to get in trouble. So he hey, at least he said, walked away I'm as go- fast as he could. I'm going to the trailer. <laughs> But anyways, carry on. See, I didn't see. I already uh, tried to move on from that. I mentioned it sorry. on Tuesday. I was. Uh, was I going he could have. I don't know. He could have made the turn. That's all I got. Yeah, he definitely could have. But that was the Rex. I don't. Man. Yeah. Those were interesting. Um, Good old Recky. Uh, Recky living up to his name and somehow missing Truex by you know, like, right. not noticing he was there by like 112 feet. There's a reason we call him Recky. For some reason, if he ever gets offended by that, maybe he should watch back his own races. Um, I just said. I'm trying to think what that kid's name was. I got hold on a second. Bob Saget. He was in the truck. Hosevar. No. Well, while I'm thinking of that, uh, oh, Tanner Gray. Yeah. Did not have a good day. Nope. There's some people. Yeah, there's some people on that list. I was going, damn. Yeah, I was I was not expecting to see it. And also, um wasn't was it was it the truck race? Which race did Parker run in this weekend? That was truck expense. Truck race and he fit trucks and he finished truck. fifth. He finished sixth. No, no, it was crafting got fifth. Okay, crafting, yeah. So crafting I also wanted to give a shot. Fifth, I just don't so. if it was an Xfinity or trucks. I was happy with his racing. I don't care what anyone says. Get mad. He got a top five out of it. He's talented, especially in the equipment he's in. It's not like he's in like the greatest stuff ever. And every time he gets a shot, 
he's good, which is why I still see him on pit road. And I go, I interview him people it's like what someone, what explain that to you. Like I could think of a lot of people in the cup series that. If you figure that talented. out, let me know. Oh, don't worry. I, I mean, we all figured it out. It, I just, yeah, well, we, we all figured it out. I'll just leave it at that. That's fair. Um, <laughs> I know, chuckling out of the middle of nowhere. You're welcome, America. It's been a long day and it's only 10 10. I already got enough fast, no fast chewings for a year. By eight. What, what is up with the manufacturers right now? How come Toyota is legit become what Chevy used to be? And I'm going to call out Ford on this one. They either need to, to step up or figure it the fuck out because they're frustrating me. How can these manufacturers stand there and you see Toyota just dominate every series? Yeah, but I mean, in the cup race, I mean, in the cup series, we do have Chevy. I mean, come on, all 400 guys, drivers won in the first 11 races, which, by okay. the way, no team's ever done before. Kyle won like everything last year. So if we take the cup series out of the equation, Thank God for colleague down there in junior because the trucks though trucks is on. I mean Gibbs is just down right now for some. I and uh, the other guys, where where is it? Where racing in trucks? I think it's where racing. I don't know. Who oh. does, doesn't Nice drive run Chevy? Nice, that's what it was. Nice. No, no. Like you're that. thinking of, you're thinking of Rick Ware, and I know where you're going with it. Yeah, I'm not sure why I was going that way with it, but. I was in a Rick Ware, Cody Ware. Which Ware? There's two of them. Exactly. But now they have figured out. And also, to close out last weekend, everyone, please pay attention. Oh, I got a couple more things that are not NASCAR, though. I know. But I'm trying to finish out NASCAR. Jesus, just let me get there. Stop taking the wheel. My brain is slow today. For anyone that listens, that's a Joey Logano fan. If someone puts me into the wall, they better not think they're not getting anything back. What he bare, like, if he touched you, it was barely. And if you touched the wall, you just got in the marbles. What your car still looked pristine there, Joey. He didn't drive into the corner going, you know, a buck 70, buck 80, and use your bumper as his brakes and send you back to 13th with blown out tires and the whole car destroyed. So please, Joey, what? How about you find all those people that Recky took out? Or find Kyle, who got, oh, light bulb, who got, you know, shafted. And Kyle, I would be mad because Brad's just a whole nother level. But, yeah, he didn't put you in the wall. I mean, I watched it enough times. Like, I'm pretty sure he that there was no even contact for you there. Um, so maybe you should just learn how to drive because there's a difference between you guys running hard and I think he only stayed in second after that happened compared to just punting somebody. Sorry, what, is what, what is the world of NASCAR come to it? John Hunter does it. Okay. Joey does it. Okay. Chastain, you know, the one time he did it, what it was a dick move, but well, Hey, they left the bottom open. He went for it. Right. I'll, I'll at least give him that. And he said, he owes me one, but at least he had, you know, the intestinal fortitude, you know, know that. Joey's like, Joey will get it. it. Don't worry. Joey will definitely get it. I still, again, Kyle Bush, thank you. It looks like he's going to have a conversation with Joey. There's Joey. Look, hey, hey, you're watching him walking. Like, what? That's the case. What? He's going to hit him. What do you mean he's going to hit him? Look at the way he is walking. In. What? Those fins, <clears throat> those fists are clinched. What? He is walking down there to be a bad, bad man. And then Joey's team saved his life again. But anyway, how about we? Can we stop punting people at like you guys can all the old guys complain about that's how young guys are getting wins. Then the old guys turn it up to like, you know, a million. Right. So, Magnify it most definitely. So how about we all act like, you know, the elder statesmen and adults that we are. Ross was trying to get his first win ever in Trackhouse's first win. And yeah, you, know, you gave him an opportunity. And again, AJ wouldn't have been that mad if he didn't get stuck in the rocks and go from third to way the hell back there. It was just a bump. He would have been okay with it because we've seen AJ do it to get wins. There's a difference, but that was a straight-up punt. 
That was not a Robin's racing what seen and everyone's oh well senior used to, senior used to like one, two, get out of the way, three. He'd make sure, but I don't remember too many he times. Would, he, he would tap you a couple he times. He intentionally, I don't remember him intentionally using, you know, someone's bumper as his way to break. Like he would bump, bump, bump. So you'd get all squirrely. I mean, against, I'm a Rusty Wallace fan, so I will remember Daytona that year. I was either let off and let him in or, or. Right. Or spitting around on its nose and blow all the hell like this. Don't forget that one. Tony or Terry Labonte at Bristol that time. But that was just, I shouldn't have been back here in the first place, but I'm going to get you. And damn it, if, even if it came down to the checkered flag, but he got him. I don't know how he made the turn to get up on top of that building where Victory Lane is at Bristol. How the hell that thing even turned? I don't know, but they did it. And good on him, but that was a punt. That was, uh, and he didn't put you in the wall. You are still that whiny crybaby, baby nope. back bitch that we all said you were a decade ago. Carry on. Uh, GNCC racing. They uh, did a good good race this weekend. Um, the ATV classes overall winners were Cody Collier and Bryson Neal. The bikes were. Corey Steed and Benjamin M. Kelly. Youth oh, ATV was Quentin Goker. And bikes were Nicholas DeField. I love for the GNCC. Last names. Don't you yeah, love the last name? Just look at it going. Does that even GNC, say? Um, hill climb stuff like that have a lot of European oh, yeah. racing. Oh, they do. I have, that's their, I mean, look at us. We're kind of like the premier oval racing, like on. Um, the planet for the most part like nascar europe is what all road courses i mean like that's just look at f1 all the stuff yeah. over there it's what they do um we already talked about f1 uh brady bacon yeah. free oh sorry you said three of the four races got rained out shocker um but the one that did run brady bacon took first robert bellow took second Logan CV, he took third, and I just wanted to give a shout out because he didn't have the greatest day. Justin Grant took 10. Shout out to Bacon. Oh, yeah. This dude is on a roll. Keep it going. Bacon bacon makes everything better, especially on Um, a rainy, drizzly, cold, miserable morning where your head's getting bit off by 8 o'clock for things that you have no control over and didn't do. And then uh, I know Ski Ski has brought it up. Nobody got to watch the race. Just wanted to show the picture of the winning car after the after the race. Oh yeah, again, don't even get me started. Like whoever, no, I'm just saying. Up, say whoever came up with did their TV like contract, you should be fired. PR guys, sucks. Like, like if you're trying to grow like the thing, whoever's signing these deals, like agreeing to these you know contracts for you know, TV for the Arca series that you're trying to grow and grow, you absolutely oh. suck. You are the um, provides level of suck. No one, not everyone will get that, but if there's anyone we are in tanks with listening to us right now, they get it. Like, Provides absolutely sucked at everything. Everything. Breathing, yeah, leading. I'm not going to comment. Being a human being <laughs> in general. On working on tanks. I mean, I can't think of one thing that he didn't absolutely suck at except for pissing people off and flapping his jibs because he just popped his collar where you can't do nothing. <laughs> one day, perv. One day we're going to run into each other in the real world. And then it's funny. When the collar no longer existed, he had zero intestinal fortitude. Zero. Duh. Duh. That's what he does. Chicken shit. Carry anyway, on. Sorry. Back to... Arca, Music City 200. Confused. Beautiful Santa track Smith. down there, too. Beautiful huh? track down there. Nashville, yeah. Track there, yeah. Beautiful. I love that track. There's one of them I actually do like. And they also have yeah. another one over there. West, or East uh, and, the one, and the one that they did over at uh, in Bakersfield two weekends ago. That was good. I, I, for some reason, I always love just watching races at that track. I have no idea why. There's just something about well, it. You're like, that's cool. It that's also fun. helps to know that when you're watching, you're like, man. One of our better drivers of the series literally lived on this track. 
literally and the road course out there at the go-karts yeah but yeah which is amazing that there was road courses right there to Marnon, but yet to this day he well he's just not friends with the courses he's better at Watkins Glen yeah I'll give him that definitely better than Coda last year was Coda last year wasn't his fault that was Mother Nate. Actually, that was whoever was making the decisions that the drivers can't see three feet in front of their face. But yeah, what? We'll let them keep running. What's the worst that could happen? You go driving, driving car on top of me. Huh. That escalated quickly. You know, but anyway, Arca, carry on before I just keep going. Light crash. Anyway, sorry. I'm shutting up now. I slight, slight contact. Yeah. Just... yeah. I just... Uh, anyways, so Timmy Smith took first. Uh, second was Jake Finch. Uh, third is Taylor Gray. Fourth was Mason Mingus. Fifth was Leland Honeyman. Sixth was Tanner Arms. Seventh was Michael Lira. Eighth was Donald D. D- I haven't seen that before. Anyways, ninth, Matt Wilson. Tenth was Ryan Woulet. That's the worst part. When you look at it, you're like, I've never. Here's going weird name, weird name, weird name, weird name I've never seen before. Okay, what? Throw I can speak a lot mix. of weird names, but that one is above me. It's like, okay, throw your what? Okay. The, maybe oh. the, the. We'll go with that. The, yeah, I'll Donald go with the, that. He took eight. <laughs> In the 74, that dude took eight. Yeah, that dude. However the hell you pronounce your last name, don't worry. Um, but Pop Helmick. First thing he said to all of us, whatever happened to Smith? End right. quote. I showed up with Bissonette, Holtberg, there's a Rosinski, a Booten, Sturdivant. You're like, what the f- happened to Smith? Hi. <laughs> God bless that man. He's a good dude. Anyway. Um, out of the 14 that ran, nine of them finished on the lead lap. Which is really impressive for how the um, races work out. I, I should say 10, 10 of them because the guy that finished 10th, Ryan Roulette, he ran 182 with 189. I mean, he ran yeah. in damn near the whole race so if you want to be realistic 10 of them finished damn near the whole race yeah now you get down to the last seven or eight laps what in that i mean i mean if you have an incident on pit road you could yeah lose laps quick yeah i'm just saying like but when you make it that far in that series yeah i'll count it 182 and that's that's a lot of racing and again good racing those guys do beat and bang uh they started the composite bodies way way before the cup series even they've been around composite bodies for years now so the cars can take a little bit more abuse but again good racing whether it's east west i mean and those cars are looking mighty nice this year i like the expanding or the arca cars over most of the other cars this year they do look sorry i know that i know that has nothing to do with it there's all well they gotta think though where did all the old cup cars go that they can't use anymore? They need to be recycled somewhere. Right. I mean, that's that how the series works out. I liked that body in the 40s. Yeah, they buy cars, you know, or get donated cars from the bigger t- Like, here you go. Like, that's how that's always worked. But they did look, it's like, I remember that year. What? Ah, that was a good year. Vintage. Like a good red wine. Like and vintage. Kurt- did not have any luck last weekend. Yeah, everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Everything was working against him. And I blame one person and one company, Bubba Wallace and McDonald's. I should not have put that bull crap on Kurt Busch's car. Look what it did to him. Yeah, everything that uh, he just had bad luck. I know, I didn't help any. Every right damn, the, right every damn thing. Start. Not even Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. In the booth, watching you talking while you're driving in that paint scheme could help you. Oh, I did a piss. That's a bad weekend, but it was a good weekend all in all across it with all again. The racing was good at Darlington. Supercross was good until that. And congratulations to Christian Craig. I say Christian Craig, and suddenly small people are alive. Yeah, but. Good on him. He got the championship in the 250 West. Tomac, obviously. Jet Lawrence stopped falling down for the love of God. Did it again. What? I know you won the championship, but you don't try to kill yourself in the process. Didn't he fall twice in that race? I thought he, he fell yeah. a few times. That was just in the race. I mean, he fell a few times. 
Yeah. Well, I was referring to just the race yeah. though. Even. He was all he flight. was just figure it out, homie. But that'll move us on to this weekend because oh. F1. What's the guy's name? I don't know. Um, um Mosman. Mosman? Yeah, like he was he was having a he was having a rough weekend too. He was falling like crazy. Now I don't know if that was just because of the grip of the track and how wet it was. Or yeah. if it was everybody was trying properly. so hard because of what race it was. Right. But it was rough. And if you had both yeah. of them together, it really was a bad combination. Oh. Well, again, it was just some people didn't have to. Some people were just driving like idiots. Yeah. I mean, Jet, he didn't have to worry about anything. But dear Jet, you could have went down and hurt yourself, broke something, and then not even been able to race next year. How about we get just a little bit bigger brain cell function and, you know, turn your aggression, you know, it's just a hair down. A little, just one. I mean, if you really wanted to be, if you were on one of those guys' teams, the best way I would put it is because I've watched for years is I would be like, look, don't try to be like Bubba. Bubba Stewart was good, but he was right. also reckless. I'd be like, don't be, stop beating yourself that's what uh, that's exactly what he did he would beat himself he'd take himself out of races it's, been, get hurt. Uh, it's look like at all the races that... there was one race he was 16 seconds ahead of somebody with two laps to go and he <laughs> what were you doing and he chased it down boom wrecked that bike had a hard time getting it going again i'm like you didn't win the race you had a 16 second lead you did not win the race because you couldn't just you were racing the air <laughs> what were you thinking People right. should not do that. One thing they all should learn. Stop. Like, you're not losing to them. What? You're losing to yourself. Exactly. As you go down, you're dead last in a five-minute heat race. First corner, you're dead last behind everything. And you manage to not only get up front, but get up front before the white flag is flying and win by five, six seconds. Just slow the hell down. Get through the mess. Every time you overpush then, it, you kill yourself. And now, well, the whole point of the whole point of like I, maybe like, this is just now. Me. Figure it the fuck out now. Like your body's not gonna, gonna be this young forever. Is if if you're gonna ride a race hard, which I understand if you're coming from the back, you gotta. Ride, I get it. But once you get the lead, you're no longer racing for the lead. You're maintaining your lead. Oh, God, you get the lead, get out by a few seconds, and then you can like, just you maintain. Know, and you could let off a little earlier every turn, you know, just they'll catch you by you know, a second or two, but they're not going to pass you. You don't have to drive like a bat out of hell. Go back to the early 2000s and watch some races that Chad Reed won. You think after he took the lead, he was beating himself up? No. No. Mm. Mm. James, sorry, it's the chair. If I sit up, it moves. Yeah. If I sit up like this, yeah, but he was just having a, a Sunday drive. Yeah, he was Sunday I'm driving. I'm over here. I feel like I'm on a yeah. boat. I, actually, I do really feel like I'm on a boat when this chairs. Yeah, anyway, right. sorry. Bunch of races aren't happening. F1's off until next Sunday in Spain at the Circuit de Catalunya, which I'm excited for. Supercross is done, done, obviously. Uh, and again, congratulations, Christian Craig, Eli Tomac, Hunter Lawrence, Jet Lawrence, Dow. Jason Anderson, everyone, yeah, champions and everyone that ran close to them, you all had really, I mean, I only mentioned Jet from the 250 East because he won by like two plus races. So, I mean, no one was even like, good job. You were there. Yeah, he could have not started two races and still beat you. You know, yeah. but yeah, they're done and Xfinity is off until next weekend at the Texas Motor Speedway, which again, be a fast track, a good one, but we went over Walter's stuff. So Indy Lights and NTT IndyCar Series. GMR Grand Prix at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Good to see the Indy Lights if you can actually catch it. You know, it's one of the harder ones for me to find at least. Uh, it's kind of like the F, you know, the electric. The Formula E. Yeah, it's, it's like that. It's hard to find, but uh, they're running there. But IndyCar Series is running on the road course here. 85 laps, 207.32 miles. That's a lot of fun to figure out the math on. Um, and what Indy cars? Yep, and that's a good run before that last year. Formula, here we e. go. Formula oh, no. E's in Berlin. I know, I know, okay. but 
I'm saying, but I was just saying, there's one of those things. It's just hard you to find the indie. It's hard to find the indie light series. Like it really, like you have it to is. look, look to find. Like unless you have a sports thing through like Hulu or someone besides Hulu, and you can actually find them. I can't record indie light stuff because it doesn't even pop up because it's that hard to find. But they're running at the road course at Indy, which I think minus the Indy 500, I think that's the track that they should run because it utilizes the whole track. And you know, for the most part, I mean, it utilizes a lot of it. And it put on better racing because no offense, NASCAR at the Indy Motor Speedway, I mean, it was just a snooze fest. And guess what? No matter how hard he tried in 2020, when they came back, Kevin wasn't catching Denny because of the aero package until Denny had that tire problem. It was just impossible to pass there. It just never works. But last year, here we go. You were worried about screwing up your race. Yeah, People's names. 2021 results from the road course at Indy race for the Indy cars. First, Rhinus Van Kalmfout. Yep. There's a name for it. There's a mouthful. But for Ed Carpenter Racing, I like Ed Carpenter Racing. Uh, Roman Grosjean was second. Alex Pillow was third. Joseph Newgarden fourth. Graham Rahal fifth. Simon Pagano sixth. Alexander Rossi seventh. McLaughlin eighth. Scott Dixon ninth. And Marcus Erickson tenth. Yes, I remembered everyone's first name, except for McLaughlin. I think it's Scott. Scott McLaughlin, there you go. It came to me now. You're welcome. I did all of it. Ah. And then notable finishes. I mean, Power finished 11th, which, you know, we'd expect that. Colton Herta, 13th. And then Jimmy was 24th out of the 25. Um, I think it's going to be back to Newgarden, Pillow, McLaughlin, Rossi. And if Colton could get his nonsense together, we all know how he runs. I mean, it's not necessarily the street course, but we know how he runs on road courses. So if he doesn't take himself out or he doesn't have a pit problem, which he's had in every race, like if they put together a solid race, he'll be good. I just can't believe I remembered that many people's names. See, you people think Jesse just watches, but gives you the results and doesn't watch anything. When... Walter, I, we can't hear you. There you go. I don't know why it random. I don't know why I just suddenly muted you in the middle of all that, but hey. God bless America. Hey, their new update. I mean, all I was saying was since you missed it, I'm pushing for New Garden. Yeah. I like Joseph New Garden, just the story as a human being. Yeah. He always finds a he finds a way, he stays level headed. There's just something about him that Racing fans, like if you don't watch IndyCar series, like if you turn that on, like he's a guy you easily root for, just like you know, you know, Scott Dixon. There's something about him that you should like. Uh, Colton Herta, if you could just keep a level head. Granted, he has yeah. a lot of bad, he has a lot of dumb stuff happen that's out of his control. So I understand where his head is, but I'd be pissed too at this point. But yeah, Newgarten is definitely. Watch out for him. He's good. Oh, yeah. He's um, earned all the respect he gets. Which yeah. a lot of guys can't say. We went over that one. Went over that. There it is. Oh, all right. You're welcome, Nick. Um, you're welcome, Nick. I know you'll never listen to this, even though you say you do. Sheesh. Next There's week. Two. So I don't forget to next say. Week. Oh, boy, we so we're talking about this upcoming races for, for this upcoming week. Um, Lakeside okay. Speedway in Kansas and US 36 and wait a minute. oh let me rephrase that I think I might lie to you read that wrong reread that Chuck I've been watching a lot of I've seen a lot of commercials for Firestarter what? US 36 <laughs> US 36 Raceway and I-70 Motorsports Park. So that's Odessa, Missouri for I-70 and Osborne, Missouri for US-36. Those are the two races this week for USAC in the Sprint Series. Let's hope the weather, um, let's hope so, the weather well, cooperates. Weather dependent. Yeah, let's um, hope the weather cooperates for a change. Silver Crown's off till the end of the month. So there won't be any of that for a couple of weeks. Can you hear something that sounded like Daisy? Or am I losing my mind? I'm losing my mind. Okay. I hear it. Um, I'm just losing my mind. Cool. 
Anyone that Three. wants to know, I don't. Canada know. starts their series this weekend. Okay. In the Pinty series. The Pinty. <coughs> you had read the first time, and you said it weeks ago. It's the Pinty. I like calling it the Pinty. That pisses people oh. off. You like doing it. Well, it's like when people say irregardless. <laughs> like, like, didn't you just call me an idiot like 10 minutes ago? What? Yeah. Irregardless, what? Is not a word. Like, who's the dummy now? He, he, he. Thank well, you, there was Major a comment Hanks. made that I said it wrong the very first time we've ever talked about it. So I'm like, no, it's definitely Pinty's. Hey, and no, first time we, like, okay. First it's time we talked about it on the show, we said it was Pinty's, Pinty's, whatever the hell you pronounce it. See, we said both. So no one was wrong. Hey, what the hell oh. you pronounce that? Pinty, also, Pinty, I don't give a damn. They're allowed to race in Canada. Tomorrow night, for everybody's love of this. Tomorrow night, yeah. Wheeling Modify Series is going to be racing Here's the good ones. Riverhead Speedway. There's the good ones. Sure, you have to have dirt vision, do you? Yeah, yeah I think you will. Yeah. I don't think that one's on. Hold on, let me see. That's what we, we have Walter for. That's yeah, that one's not going to be on public TV. No, of them are, which is a damn shame. But again, streaming services is where it's at. So, well, ESPN used to cover them, and then well, we know what ESPN. No, well, they did. they cover you know the wide world of sports. Uh, did like they're uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Joke. They are joke. Yep. Choke. Spoke. Poke. Okay, like that. Oh, um, woke. That's what they did. They went all woke, and they make every like everything's about race and everything which is and now they're gonna go broke so yeah well don't worry disney's hey look who owns espn with disney's dying right now in fact as we're sitting here talking i keep saying what facebook down amazon down disney down like and no people i don't set it to see that that's just the stocks keep coming across the bottom of my screen which i didn't even turn on the computer just like hey you should see this who's gonna tell the computer no and then, uh, except for a terrible, terrible person, but dirt vision people, uh, if you want to see really, really, really honest to God, good racing, cro- like around the whole entire track at all times, get dirt vision because that stuff's just either that or flow sports, either one, both they, uh, flow racing, what the dirt vision, like find one of those, either one of them, you'll have some of the best racing you'll ever see, ever, all the time, Definitely. too. Um, tomorrow, Arca is racing. Where they they will be racing the Dutch Boy 150. Dutch Boy at the and Speedway. Okay, just wanted you to finish it off properly. Yeah, and that should be a good one. Again, if you actually get to catch the races, I mean, the races actually are yeah, pretty good for like. For the most part, especially when you see good guys like have to start in the back and move the way through. And again, their plate racing, I'll say this year is better than it's been. I mean, it hasn't been like single file, just boring pretty much at all in their plate tracks, which I always found to be their weakness because they would just drive around a big line. And then there'd be another pack like three years behind them. And it was just boring as hell until right at the end. Like they've at least been up there racing, racing this year. So good on them. But they have a lot of good stuff. A lot of young people and people are saying, I want to watch all that because I don't know who they are. Well, if you watch Arca, then you see who moves up to trucks. Then you'll see when they move up to Xfinity, and then you'll actually know who the hell they are when they make it to Cup. Even nope. though there's absolutely no room for anyone to go to Cup because certain individuals are catered to, and that's not just a Bubba joke. No. There's quite a few of them in there that shouldn't be up there. And I'm not picking on anyone that's in underwhelming equipment. Because those people shouldn't literally have been there. They got screwed, like the John Hernie Macheks and the Anthony Alfredos and all I just got a, the world. They got, got an alert thro- for NHL. Sorry. Yeah. Ryan Priest, he got thrown up there just and look how good that worked out because he was driving in. Yeah. Inferior equipment. Yeah. No offense. No offense to Brad Doherty, JTG racing. Yeah. No you offense know, to Joe and just- Tad Geschechter. Yeah, Brad Dorty, no, they didn't. If Recky stopped wrecking everybody, because look how good he's running now. If he can well, just not drive you like know, you, you had it right in the other aspect, though. But at the beginning, they were behind. Other part. You, you got guys that are racing equipment that is most definitely not 
the so I don't, top of the I don't grade pick on with, I, I think I don't pick on them like and then they throw inexperienced people in it. There you go, figure it out. And that doesn't help anything, you know. Either See, I think money- BJ McLeod, he could uh he could he could do himself a favor like this weekend. Xfinity is off. Yep. Okay. Um, so that's that means what, what's Jeffrey doing this weekend? Drinking beer. Who's running BJ McLeod's car on Sat Sunday? That's a good question. I could tell you if my iPad was. Here, I, I don't want to answer. I'm being a smart, sarcastic I know. person. About that. They, I, can, they, I, they turn my, just, I turn yeah, my ringer yeah. off. My, my can, volume, my ringer, everything's off, and my iPad still makes noise. BJ can be like, hey, man, how much it cost me to get you for a week in? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'll Jeffrey. Would, I don't think Jeffrey would turn down an opportunity. But That's my regardless. Point. And, and being that BJ McLeod does have a little bit better scenario than other dry other teams, he is yep. linked up with a team that's pretty decent and yeah. has been doing better recently. He's, he's got so, a slow burn. He builds, but he, he, builds, he very he easily there. could with a decent yeah. driver. Yeah, whole hard to do. <coughs> don't like how BJ gets a full time car in the series, then he don't drive it. <laughs> hey, but I think he's doing it. You know. Him not driving gives other, people, you know, gives other people opportunities and lets him just because no offense, most driver owners it doesn't work well. Ricky Rudd, that I mean, Richard he won Childress. races. That wasn't the great Richard Childress. Uh, Daryl Waltrip, look at Daryl Waltrip after he left all that and he started, you know, 17 driving for Advance Auto. The cars looked great, finishes weren't so much. Dave Marcus, great looking cars, got sponsors. Granted, he was 800 years old, but didn't run well. Tony, what he had that first year, that big one, and he ran the, the wheels off of that thing. I shouldn't even be in the playoffs. Five races later, well, he was a champion. Deal with it. Uh, he figured it out when no, he had to. Yeah, Brad. I mean, but look at Tony after that. Wasn't ever the same. Uh, there are some extenuating circumstances that, but that was years after he won that championship, and he didn't look the same after that one year. Brad, right now, like I'm sorry, what and Kevin. Look at Kevin running. He went over to Stuart Haas. He got rid of his you know, all his truck programs, all that stuff. He closed it all up so he could just worry about racing. And look what the hell he did when he did that. I'm sorry, what like your brain is in other things when you're an owner driver. It's just the oh, way yeah. it is. I'm not, I'm not trying. Denny, look how look at Denny. Look at Denny how he's running since he started being on the the other side too. He hasn't looked too good and has had a lot of bad luck on top of it. You know, it's just. That goes back to the the beast. So you know, not many guys like Petty and yeah, just and worry about and look at him at the, look at him at the end of it though. Even Petty, like at the end of his career, we're sitting there going, "He should have retired four or five years ago." Why did he? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, even Dale Senior did it though. He, yeah. he, but there are few people that can do that. I mean, Dale Senior is one of the few blips, and well, at least he got to see. Last thing he saw, at least, was Mikey and Junior running off to finish one two in the Daytona five hundred. Literally the last thing he saw. And you know his heart was filled with a little hat. Except, he, a except he was like new except he was like Newman. What? You want to get by me? What? You're gonna have to Good kill me. <laughs> You're gonna have to kill me. And well, if it wasn't for the Newman bar that Newman put in, Newman would be dead. There would have been a second one. You're gonna have to kill me if you want to get around me. Yeah, it's just, but good for him for the just the way he's doing it. You know, Moffitt, McLeod, like there's a lot of guys that. Oh, throwback! Are, throwback. Are building I, just, I just remembered this because of last weekend we were talking about throwbacks. I have to give a shout out to Mikey. Michael Waltrip wore my favorite shirt of the weekend. He wore a Kenny Schrader T-shirt. Yep. That. Yep. And I don't care what anyone says. Hands down, best shirt of the weekend. And as we're gonna go back to that before we move on to NASCAR this weekend. Chase Elliott, my friend, you only won the best throwback back in the Cup Series because you're NASCAR's most popular driver. What? Is yeah. there better? I'm sorry, I don't even like Harrison Burton. Jeff's old scheme on the side of that car looked good. That's all I'm going to say. But that, Fair. Just, my, just my opinion, the throwback that got run into a wall by Logano for Jeff Gordon. Looks good. Yeah, most people are suddenly looking going, that's a throwback to what? Okay. That's what most fans are doing. 
sorry. What you got that because you know, and well, Maddie, you got it because well, for some reason, whenever there's a fan vote besides the most popular driver, you win. But I still thought he had the best throwback in the whole entire thing for the truck. So I personally agree with that one. And by the way, Denny Hamlin is the biggest narcissist on the planet. Everyone else throws back to something except for Matt Crafton, but I mean, he just threw back to his car. Like he's been around forever. He can. Then he threw back to his 2016 Daytona 5. Yes. When it, when Them two, he, threw him back, and, uh... he threw back to yourself. Exactly. All the people you can pay respect to, you threw back to yourself. There's well, other people thing in the world, Denny. Denny. That's why Denny hasn't won a championship. Because guess what? There's other people beside you. Why didn't Why didn't he do a throwback to Gibbs' son's sprint car or something? Wouldn't have died. It got him in the race. Didn't he? I'm pretty sure he raced sprints. Did he not? Yeah. If I understood that yeah. whole story correctly, yeah. Yep. Why didn't he do a throwback to him? The guy that well, got him where right. he's at. Because he had to do what Denny knows how to do, and that's worry about Denny. Duh. He he goes, was Austin Dillon goes up into the wall, front stretch of Daytona 500 to end it. His car blows into a million pieces. His motor's barrel rolling down the front straightaway through the grass. Everyone's cheering. Junior's like, what, shut the hell up. What? We ain't cheered once until he gets out of that damn car. And they're in victory lane going, what, is he out yet? Uh, we'll celebrate. What? I just want to make sure he's safe before I do it. Denny Hamlin, Newman's laying there on fire upside down, damn near dead. And he's doing burnouts like 100 feet away from him, like it didn't matter, like nothing. Why? Because Denny just cares about Denny, which is why you're going to have miserable luck and you're not going to win a championship because you're a self absorbed that's, that's the difference yeah. between a, a good driver and a shitty driver. Which is look my problem. Mikey. Mikey's <laughs> won that race. And look at him the whole time. Hey, I hope Daryl's over, but he was celebrating, celebrating until, well, sadly, there came Schrader. Just, and Mikey, when he found out, went from to smile. Now you saw the complete watch, yeah, you know, that thing, whatever that was called, the documentary there. When you see Kenny come in looking all death, and Michael's face went from a real smile to just smile. I don't think many people, and, and I, if I remember correctly, I don't think anyone was able to get an interview with Sterling Marley at the racetrack. Hey, fun fact when they went to Pocono later that year, though, he went to the Wawa. There by the track. Beautiful place. And he was, being a, he was being a complete dick to whoever was making him a sandwich. Yeah. It was apparently, you know, he was a self-absorbed douche. And he was running their mouth telling that they couldn't make their sandwich. He didn't make a sandwich right this, that, and the other. They're not doing fast enough. And the person's response was, yeah, at least I didn't kill Dale Earnhardt. Apparently, he stopped running his mouth after the person said that. Terrible thing to say, but well, at least I didn't kill Dale Earnhardt. Which did he? No. Was that just a freak thing? Because we've seen him barrel roll shit with left, right, and a different. Like, yeah, but look who stopped racing after yeah. that, though. But not yeah. long after that, both yeah. of them did. Yeah. At least I didn't kill Dale Earnhardt. But anyway, who's a self absorbed douche now? Mother. I'm just glad he said that to Sterling Marling because somebody would have made that comment and that incident to Kenny Schrader. I don't think Kenny would have been as calm. I've seen him get frustrated over that one, not- though. And yeah. again, if we're going to talk about that, if you guys don't watch or listen, I mean, I'd say prefer you watch the episode of the Dale Jr. Download when he sits down and talks to Kenny about that. As you can still see to this day, Kenny is it's, it's permanently Kenny, affected. Kenny died in, well, he can't even think of the man without doing the. Why? Because he was not letting to get up over here now. He's the one that had to be the one to find that out and to tell Junior and to tell Mikey. And if that doesn't affect you, I mean, I really don't know what does. Look, I'm even feeling good. What I got goosebumps. But like to be that situ- be put in that situation and for how much love Junior and them still have, like, and they never talked about it until the Dale Junior download, which is, yeah, like, but. Which is why I'm glad it. he went and did what he did. I'm glad Kenny did what he did. I, I mean, I'm sad to see him leave NASCAR like yeah. that. But. but to see just the emotion between them. No, could just Kenny still I mean this many years later, Kenny Schrader still can't even think about it. Can't talk about breaking it. Down, can't even think about it without breaking down. And I'm getting goosebumps and breaking down like that had to be just like Michael Waltrip. You go from you won the Daytona 500, you're waiting to see, yeah, you know, senior come in because he gave you a shot and you won your first shot. And then Kenny's coming to you crying, saying, What well, it's not good, dude. Like it's not good at all. And like well, you knew right then as soon as as soon as it happened, and and as Mikey's passing finish line, 
Daryl's bawling. Bawling. He knew. Mikey, you did it. I hope Daryl's okay. Yeah, and that one from I hope Daryl's okay to his window net's still up. And the ambulance, it. It the ambulance is the uh, yeah. Over done. Daryl was over. Ambul- the ambulance was driving at three miles an hour. It was just watch the Dale Jr. download. And when you're done with that one, watch the one with Rodney Childers because it'll pick you back up and you'll be like, what a strange dude. <laughs> you know, but anyway, moving on to the trucks. NASCAR Which is amazing that he's the crew chief and then the spotter and driver are I'm sorry, Timmy's one, Timmy is one of the like, and if you don't know, you know who's Tim Fiedler? Because you know, people don't like what, like that man is that him and Randy LaJoy, which is Corey's dad, those two had a hell of a rivalry in the Bush series when it was oh, still yeah. the Bush series. Yeah, and they, they he, he could drive. But anyway, see, people, don't you love our sidebar conversations? It has happened, but Camping World it's Truck Series, Heart of America 200 at the Kansas Speedway at 8 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, no cup drivers in the race. I don't think I even saw any Xfinity drivers in it. So I didn't see any. Yeah, it'll be a straight them race. But here's the big one. Here's the exciting news, which was the results last year. Damn that Kenny Schrader. Anyway, Kyle Busch was first. Ross Chastain second. Austin Hill third. Christian Eck is fourth. John Arnimacek fifth. Todd Gillen sixth. Zane Smith seventh. Raphael Lassard eighth. Yeah, I'm just... Johnny Sauter, ninth, Ben Rhodes, 10th. And then the notable guys you know, I'm looking to see do better were Chandler Smith in 11th, Haley Deegan, 13th. Chase Briscoe was in the race and finished 19th. Uh, Hosovar was 23rd, and Matt Crafton was 24th. Yeah, you got me on Hosovar. You guys are welcome. The one I couldn't remember, but he's running a lot better. Don't worry, he'll come to me at the end of this. Uh, He's doing a lot better this year. Again, Ben Rhodes, the Smiths, especially after how Zane, I think it was, that finished terrible last weekend. Or champ, one of the two did god-awful. It was in the deep teens and just couldn't do anything all race. Uh, no, that was Chandler, I thought. There you go. It was one of them. But look at the 2021 results. I mean, Kyle Busch, not there. Ross Chastain, not there. Austin Hill, not there. So the top three don't even exist anymore, which – Johnny Sutter from ninth out there. Four out of the top 10 aren't even there anymore, which means it opens the door for a lot of people. Again, I think. Is hey, you, think guys, you think guys that are of the quality of Ron Hornaday and Johnny Sutter out of the trucks. It was good to see. It was good to see. Winning. It was good to see Ron Hornaday. He wasn't in the race last week, but he was at the track. Someone had to believe right. how to throw back to him. That was good to see. Again, Ron went forever. and Ron was still you know, running decently, really. Right up to the up, end of his career. Yeah. Say up until the last, you know, say he had more struggles in the last two years, but it really wasn't him. He had a lot of bad luck and, you know, lesser equipment, but he got a ride because he had a sponsor that would stick with him. And he still ran decently. I mean, he's never going to be what he was when he was running back when they first started the truck series and he was just killing everybody and the equipment he had, you know, that does nothing lasts forever, but it was good to see him back at the racetrack without a shadow of a doubt, but you know, Christian Eckes is always good. Todd Gillen's always good. Uh, host of ours moved up his game. Crafted needs good luck because he's just... I'm hoping for a top 10 for Matty D. When Crafton's turned to the point of... Well, I'm not taking... Well, I'm, I've taken enough crap... Well, I've taken enough shit this year, but... Uh, I'm just kidding. Sooner or later, he's actually going to mean it. He's just going to start running people over. Yeah. When he does start returning a favor... You know, but a lot gives him a great shot for again young guys just because there's so many guys that aren't there. Ben Rhodes, we know he's gonna run good. The Smiths are gonna be good. Host of ours should be good, Crafton should be good. I want to see what Haley does. And Haley and Crafton are the big ones. We all know John Hunter's gonna kill it. We I mean we all know it's John Hunter and even check. Depends if they get hit or not. Yeah, and he's been in a garbage mood. I don't blame him. He got he was one of those went up to the 38 car when he shouldn't even have been like Hey, what are you going up for your wife? Because then you're not going to have a ride. Hey, thank God Kyle Bush isn't a dick. Good job, Kyle. And how much everyone talks trash about you, you did take John Hunter right back and give him equipment he could actually run in. But Crafton needs a good one. Haley needs a good one. Um, I still think it's going to be the hosts of ours, the Smiths, 
Ben Rhodes will be up there. John Hunter. I've really, I just want you know Matt Craft and me and Haley need good ones just because of how I mean, how many times have they been taken out when they just need to be able to finish the race yeah. and yeah. be able to finish on yeah. lead lap without being hit. yeah like they've had so many times Bad this luck. year it's been nothing of their own doing like Haley what their car catching on fire wherever the hell they were people in the truck just something blows bursts into flames she's done but you can't see it's hard to avoid a scenario where you yeah. don't end up in some way shape or form hitting something yeah. or something I mean look at Kyle Kyle did nothing, or Martin Truex and all did nothing wrong. Still got taken out by someone else who's stupid. Like, and they just seem to have the magnet for stupid. So I want to see them do good, but I don't think we can really argue that the Smiths, John Hunter, Josevar, Ben Rhodes, like they're going to be up there. It just depends on who's going to get it. And I'm putting my money on whichever Smith sucked last weekend because I, well, when you go from winning everything or being right there to finishing like 19th because you were just terrible. I'm pretty sure you're kind of angry and have some space to make up. So that's my take. I don't know about you. I I think it'll be a good one for both of them. I just, again, want to see Haley and Crafton just walk away unscathed. I don't care how they finish. Just let them have a race where something stupid doesn't happen. Because they've each only had one or two of those the whole year where just something stupid didn't happen. We're not asking for much. Just something stupid to not happen. That's a pretty simple request. Dear something stupid. Don't happen. Don't. don't just, I don't Go know somewhere. what to say to that. I hope they don't get hit. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, but it should still be good racing. Again, I don't think enough people watch. You know, the trucks and the Xfinity series, I don't know why the drivers, <laughs> you'd know them if you actually, I don't know. Turn them on. Right. It's not that hard. You can set your DVR so you don't have to watch it live. You can watch it when you're bored one afternoon. And skip to the commercials. If you catch it in time. If you catch it most of the time, okay, let you go through the commercials, at least with Spectre, uh, Hulu. Like sometimes when I catch it, they're like, let go. But if I didn't catch it, like, no, like you, like you have to watch it. Well, that makes sense. But you can get through a lot of it, you know, dumb cautions. Just dumb, save yourself a lot of time. And it should be good. And then Cup Series, Advent Health 400, Sunday at 3 p.m. Hopefully I can watch it live. Meg's in town. I don't know what, I mean, again, I don't know what the hell, I never know what's going on the weekends. But last year was one of those few good races for Kevin. Uh, Kyle Bush also won, you know, the Cup race last year. And this one, Harvick was second. Mind-blowing stuff there for how they ran last year. Brad was third. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen this year. Matty D was fourth. Yeah. I don't Sorry, see Wood 21 Bro- that far up this time. Sorry, Wood Brothers, but nowhere near fourth. Nowhere. You could take out 30 of the cars. He still wouldn't finish in the top one. The yeah. Uh Chase Elliott was fifth. Truex was sixth. Tyler Reddick was seventh. Busher was eighth. And he's been put together good enough runs lately. I think he could do that again. Byron was ninth. Austin Dillon was tenth. And then everyone else, Suarez was eleventh. Good on him. Hamlin was twelfth. Ross Chastain was fourteenth. And I think he's you know he's in much better equipment now. So I think he's going to outdo that unless he does what he did last weekend and wrecks himself. Even if yeah. what I, I drove way too much. It went sideways. Yeah, there was no saving it. Went, he got back to the gas just a little bit too hard. Who was that last weekend? You don't say what because you went. Mm, woo, you were gone. What there was no saving you. Your Who car wanted that. Last, there was somebody that drifted last week and got shoved and literally drifted the Around whole the turn. turn. Yeah. I don't remember who it was. It'll hopefully come to me, but someone did drift horrifically. You're going. I remember. I was like, he made he it. Helped that. <laughs> helped it. That's pretty and everyone's good. Everyone's going, what? And everyone's going, I don't even think he let off the gas. He sure the, didn't. What? He stayed. He, he was holding on for he was holding on for everything. He was holding on for dear life with his foot matted to the floor. But good on you. Uh, but Kurt Bush, 15th. He's in better equipment again. He's just had weird luck, but I think he'll be better. Kyle Larson was only 19th. Uh Eric Jones is 25th. I think he'll do a lot better. Justin Haley was 30th. I think he'll do a lot better than that this year, just because you know everything evened out. And again, colleagues, you know, they had those few races. Just- 
He's doing yeah. good. I'm surprised he's doing when he hasn't good. had bad he luck. Is. When he when he hasn't had garbage luck. Yeah, he's been he's saying, no, been really good. He's actually able to finish. I'm yeah. shocked he's done as good as he has. Like Vegas, like look how good he was at Vegas until well he came off the Turner, lost a wheel. Turner, yeah, turn lost a wheel, and, and then Bubba made the immaculate save to get around him without hitting him, and then ate the wall. Hey, and I still say good job, Bubba. Why you didn't hit him? Correct. You're going that fast on slicks, but sometimes well when you make that big of an evasive maneuver. It causes you to not be able to make the next evasive maneuver that you need to make. But Bubba, he finished 26th last year. So the bar is low, but he's either been terrible or he's been really good and had terrible luck. I'm not trying to pick on the guy. I'm not arguing. Talladega looked good. Wrecked. Last weekend was running in the top 10 all on his own, all race. Wrecked. He's either back there in the 20s and gets wrecked, or he's just terrible, or he's running good and he gets wrecked. But maybe he shouldn't be. But I think uh, Kyle Bush will look better. Both Kyles, Kyle Bush and Larson will look better. Chest and you know, again, I'm looking for him just, and Kyle, I mean, Kurt, just because they're in better equipment. Chase Elliott, Byron are going to look good. Hamlin, Truex are going to run good with Kyle. Harrison Burton's going to suck. By the way, he will not finish fourth. I guarantee he's going to be in the 20s. I predict. 18 beyond. 18's being very generous in my eyes. He's not going to do good. I think if those nice guys in front of him didn't get wrecked out last weekend, he was a 23rd place car. Which is nowhere near, which would have been one position better and is nowhere near 14. Whatever the hell it was. 14th, 16th, I don't give a damn. Nine more spots put him way farther back than he was. And good shout out to Ricky Stenhouse because there, if he didn't wreck out again, Kevin would have only been an 8th to 12th place car. He wouldn't have finished fourth. See, I give everyone credit, but he only wrecked a few guys that were running in front of Kevin. He wrecked, Ricky took out nine guys that were running in front of, yeah, and put him up there because there wasn't enough cars to finish. Yeah. Back I mean, I, I won't deny it completely. Kevin did run a little bit at the front there a few times, but he wasn't consistent enough to. Yeah, he was an eighth to place car. I'll give him that. Definitely not, not consistent. It. Yeah, I'm not going to put it fully up there, but I think eighth to 12th is fair because it's still a top 10 or right around there. And again, his, his car fell off more, I think, him and Rodney are still. And again, this. Rodney's trying to figure it out too. Like everyone is. Um, last year, I just think the team was down. This year, I mean, he's so. Well, people are really having. He advantage. drove the same car for. He drove the same car for how many decades now? Pretty much. Hey, now suddenly you have a whole new suspension. Like every. Like... They almost need to bring back Robbie Gordon for a few months. No, they, no, they went to four wheel independent suspension. You punch someone in the neck. Well, oh. he would definitely know how to set the car up real quick. I'll give you that. Hopefully. He's good at that kind of stuff. I don't think he wants any part of NASCAR, though. No, he, he's he's kind of... I've been there, done that. See you later. Made his Sunday. peace with NASCAR. I made my money. Bye-bye. But he was the last good guy in that seven card. No, but... Again, I mean, the expected normal characters are going to be up there. Um... Unless they wreck themselves, they're not. They shouldn't have. Let's see how. Let's see how Martin Truex does this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I think he should be in the top ten. I mean, again, he's also been good. I just don't know what the hell is wrong with him mentally. Like, well, if he doesn't do good this weekend, I'm going to come to a a conclusion in my own mind that he's he's ready to say, "See you later, bye." But he said, if he wasn't having fun, I don't understand how he isn't having fun this year. I mean, because all this bad stuff that's happened, I mean, like Dover, when he went like, on the last lap, like, that was on him. Ross didn't touch it. Like, you're frustrated just over nothing. Like, I'm saying he's not having fun. That's evident. <laughs> you know, like, chill, homie. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yep. You'll be okay. You got a championship. You're not complete garbage. Just yeah, slow down. You got a, work you got work a second champ. Should have got a second championship. Should have. Did he? Hell no. Nah. Should he have? Hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, I'm cross promoting shows, but he should be. He should be a lot better. It's just, you know, I don't know what. 
he didn't look like he was having fun last year, though. I mean, it was just he was still under contract. I think he would have been gone last year if he could have. And it's not like he wasn't winning races. He's just, you know, he Sherry getting like having fun. Sherry getting diagnosed, you know, coming out with cancer again. I'm sure, you know, isn't Last. helping the situation. Yeah, you no, know, uh, we're there again. But like, and I'm not even saying he's quit. Maybe he needs to take yeah. a year off to work through some things. Oh, if he I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna be he's honest, done. dude. Your wife having cancer is not again. Be, period. I want everybody I mean, to know that yeah, but, when your wife gets cancer, you become a completely different person mentally. So it's yeah, gonna affect. second time, second time, man. Maybe when she comes back from it this time, you know, will have one of those unforgettable holy shit seasons like he had, you know, last time. But his brain is scattered, and I just his attitude while he's at the track, I think, is telling us all we need to know about how. And we and we do this have about much, is going as we don't much like compassion. Children. What? Much as we don't like Joey Logano, we have to give him and Kyle Busch. A lot of them credit. And a couple other guys some props and some shout outs because there's been some babies born recently. Yep. Good job, Kyle. Joey just had their baby the other day. Yep. Uh, no one likes Who was it? Though. What's the one guy? I think it might have been Justin. One of the guys just recently had yep. a baby in the Xfinity yep. series. Yep. You know, but. Sorry, you had back, give him yeah, a back up. Kudos. Yeah, cancer thing. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, it sucks that she got diagnosed again. I get it, but his chronic whatever the fuck is wrong with him right now. Like, I think that's telling us how the treatment and this whole bout of it is going because he's just a giant dick. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think he probably might need a season off to be able to handle. He's been a What's complete going? and utter dick. He wasn't this bad the first time around, which means I, that's, you know. To me, yeah. that's evidence that something's, one, not good, and two, I think, I'm not saying he needs to quit racing, but he definitely needs a no. break because he's yeah, got he's, shit going on. That's what I'm, I'm a completely compassionate human being. I have, you know, zero problem. Yeah, I, I feel for him. But if his brain isn't right to be on the racetrack with the car with that much power and all that, I mean, granted, he's still out there. He's still running. But, you know, you can see just little things that aren't really things. Mistakes. I mean, like, Mistakes Ross, coming in the corners and stuff. I mean, yeah, stuff Ross, clo- Ross closed the door on you. And you then spun and freaked out about it. Like, he didn't touch you. Well, but your just brain isn't there to make all those catches and everything. Like, you suddenly just vanished and did, forgot how to drive. Granted, new car. I kept saying everyone's spinning out and having problems. It turns out it's just Brad just keeps just having problem after problem after problem. Just can't figure anything out. You see if you could sell your sh- shares oh. in that thing and get your old ride back. Oh, wait. Cindric has your ride. You're screwed. You're never um, getting it back. But yeah, something about it. Again, I hope the best for Sherry, regardless of how anyone feels about Martin as a driver. You should still hope for. Well, I mean, as a human, though, he can't drive if he can't think. And I mean, honestly, if his wife's you got see his brains. not doing good, he's not thinking about racing. Yeah, again, he was good. Like he was already talking about, you know, hanging it up before she got diagnosed the second time. And he said, if it's not fun, what? I'm done. And well, I just think his brain's somewhere else. Because moves like what Ross did at Dover, which he didn't even touch him, and he went around. Like, that's just not how he's run ever. Oh. So. All the compassion in the world. Don't think we're compassionate, miserable people. But if your brain's preoccupied, you should not be behind the wheel of something that big and that fast. I know. I know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go behind the wheel. I mean, I know me, I probably would just because I'm me, but I know mentally I wouldn't necessarily want to be in that scenario. I wouldn't want to put myself in a scenario where, okay, go around a corner. Especially a second time. Yeah. It's got to suck. And again, he'll never hear this, but we do feel for him. And we hope nothing but the best for Sherry, regardless of how you feel about him as a driver, as a human being. We still want all the best for everybody. And Chuck hates you, and he hopes the best for you. I think you're just a, turned into a grumpy old man like that kid. Want well, to know why? Because, well, you got shafted from DEI and all that whole thing. You got shafted at MWR when you did absolutely nothing. Clint Boyer and his crew chief set up that whole thing, and somehow you lost your sponsor and everything. You know, I. I'd be kind of bitter and grumpy and finally got a cool thing with Furniture Row. And then, oh, yeah, what? Bye, what? We're closing. You got to go to Gibbs. Mother. 
And, you know, he signed a big contract and his crew chief did. And it was like, what? Yeah, I'm out. Like, didn't want to go there. I'm done. See you later. Like, figure it out. Yeah, no one wanted to be part of that. He kept getting screwed. So I get it. But yeah, him without full burns is not him. <laughs> and he's still run good. He's just the dynamic. He's duo. not. Yeah. It'd be like if they got rid of Rodney for Kevin, regardless of if they're winning races, you get like that combination was good for that many years with the whole team went down. I was happy to see the whole team went down except for Eric Almirola somehow, but they didn't mix anything up. Then we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get out of this because it was a whole organizational thing going, Oh, well, let's just mix it up. Why? My like Cole left and what? So it did that. You went from winning a lot of races, to maybe three or four, maybe. It means Cole's something. Left. I don't care what anyone says. Cole was like Everham when he left. When he Look left, at yeah. Jeffrey at that race. You don't tell me that his crew chief that he has normally wasn't hey. going. Wait a minute here. This dude ain't crew chief for hey. quite some time, and they're hey. doing really good. Hey, it was a black three car at Talladega with Larry Mack. Racing gods. But look at since that that race, since that race, though, he did good in his next Xfinity. I mean, he's, I think people. He's talented, but there's a black number three at Talladega with Larry Mack talking in his head. But that was just the racing gods, as we talked about earlier, we're going. But it's up to your driving ability, guy. What? Luck is on your side. You just go do something with it. And then. Everyone was scattered, and he couldn't close up if he wanted to. But look at Gordon and Evernham. Gordon lost Evernham. Never the same again. Ever. It means something. Look at anytime somebody drives with Rudy Fugel sitting up on that box, what happens? Smoke they and do, Zippy. They smoke do good. Zippy. Look at smoke after Zippy was gone. That's my point. It, it, it matters. There's certain and, things, and certain people that make Cole Perns not difference. being involved with Martin Truex and the shit going on with his wife again. That is taking a toll. I mean, Cole he, wanted he, Cole he wanted taken, nothing to do with Gibbs, though. So I mean, I well, I can't. I wasn't surprised because of organizational things and the way some of that stuff ran. I cannot at all shame him for thinking that and saying that and doing that. Again, but at the same time, I also think for Martin's sake, was, it's like. He wasn't a corporate guy. He wasn't a fire suit guy. He, was, he just wanted to go out there in his t-shirt, set up the car, and go. He didn't want to have to deal with all the idiocy, which is why Furniture Row was perfect for all of them until – and I'm not picking on the guy, but Barney Visser was like Barney Visser was a, and I would be on. That's Barney Visser was a million years old. I mean, granted, he wasn't a million years old, but I mean, they won that championship down there. He couldn't even celebrate because he had a massive heart attack the, you know, the weekend before, so he couldn't even be there. But, so I get it. What One more year, what, his furniture company – was mostly sponsoring the car, you know, for the most part, his furniture row car. I still love that flat black. I'll never forget it. But, I mean, he was paying for most of it. So, I mean, yeah, what, I'm a million years old. I yeah, the only driver drive flat is yeah. him and freaking Kurt I, Busch. I only got a second, what, almost got a second title, what, I'm out because I almost died last year. It's time to worry about other things. I respect that. I just don't know. Again, that's where I'm leaving that. I'm going to finish it up with, Bubba needs to do better, and Harrison Burton's going to absolutely suck, and he's not going to finish anywhere near fourth to continue the trend because I'm pretty sure last weekend, minus the restrictor plate, might have been the first time he actually beat Matty D's numbers from the year before. And now the cars are all even. It's not like he's at a disadvantage. Everything's even. Motors, trannies, but they supply everything. You're not doing good, but it is a driver issue. And again, some of the guys have been in the Cup Series for forever. So independent rear suspension, all that stuff. So they're going, okay. You know, like it's freaking some of them out. But here we are picking on Kevin. So that whole argument doesn't make any sense. But I don't care. Matty D, thank you for the top 10. Actually, send Matt Craft in a fruit basket. Say thank you for having your front end too low. Why? Top 10. I finished behind the onion and good for Marcus Limonis for getting, for finding a way to get Todd Bodine up to, I think what, 500 starts. He's at 497, 495. So he paid like good for him for sponsoring him just to get him up to that even number of whatever, many hundred it is. Right. Cause I like Todd Bodine. Good for him. He was one of those, you know, childress. He's got children. I mean, he was one of those horn today. Racing years. That was, 
that was there forever and his best stuff was when he stayed in the trucks just like corn today why did they move him up because he went right back down to the trucks and he won a championship sure. he didn't so want to leave the like truck he, didn't look like he could do that when he was in the cup series but he goes right back down to the trucks boom no problem now it's just it was his wheelhouse that was his baby he was one of the first guys. I'll go back and watch like the original truck series season. That was- but I get it. I get it. Look, look, what, look at me. If I was going to race in any one of those four series, you know which one I'd pick? Arca. I like the Arca card. I like that series better. I mean, there's still, there's still exposure. There's still, I mean, look at all the old faces guys, to it. Like the Norman but- Bennings and stuff that are, and you know, all the old guys that are there still racing and competing against, you know, the youngest and rising star. Like I would love to do that. No offense to the Cub Series, but once you get there, I mean, the rising stars, there might be one that's actually worth something every time around. And we had a few years where all of them recycled back to something else after a year because they weren't there to actually race and compete. They were just there. Plus, I feel like the higher the series you go up, the more baby or some of the people get it. The bigger pussies everyone becomes. And like you just get put in there to be a seat holder for a year so they can put someone else in there. So then you can go back and try to find a ride in the trucks or Xfinity and just hope someone catches you. Yeah, it's one of those. But overall, Harrison Burton's going to suck. Yeah. I'm going to stand here with my arms crossed. With Period. He's going to suck. And a finger point. Well, that seems like a perfect ending for it all after a lot of rambling. But regardless, yep. track house, Hendrick, and two or three Gibbs cars will be up there this weekend. You're welcome. Good job, Justin Marks. I love that guy. Hey, he did it right. That's all. He did it right, and he continues to do it right. And he's the racer side of it, so he actually understands, and he gets it. And he did a hell of a job, and good thing that he bought out Chastain's, you know, that whole charter and all that when that team dissolved. And good well, and that was something that was said just a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Justin even said one of the key factors was the fact that for Ross Chastain, nothing changed for him. Yeah, <laughs> the car was different. But that's just because everyone had a new car. Otherwise, the team, well, like all his people, were the same. Yeah, equipment. yeah, the whole team, everything. But the new cars, yes, there's a different car because well, but everything was minus that. Same people, same everything, same pit crew. What then? That was same again. top guys, same office. People, yeah. Everything was the same. So good job on Justin Marks and good job on Trackhouse for your throwbacks to senior. Appreciate you. Yep. They should have won, but you know, everyone's a Chase Elliott fan. So no offense, Chase. It's nothing against it is you. what it is. Nothing against you. His car still looked great. And that was a historic throwback that people like us get, but the younger crowd, yeah, they, yeah, they just voted. For, yeah, his fans just voted for him, which is why everyone gives him crap when it's his fans, not him. You know, rag on his fans, don't right? Because the kid's talented. By the old system, would he be a champion now? No, but did he play the game? There's yes. like five people in the old way that would be champion right now. The rest of them would be like, yeah. he played the game, and right now, by the old, you know. Old cup model when it was no chase, no playoffs, no way. But Chase Elliott would actually be leading right now by a pretty good margin. So, everyone that hates him, fuck off because he's actually leading in that thing, too. All you, he won't be champion, you wouldn't be champion. Well, right now, by the old Winston Cup model, he would be in the point lead. I don't know if you got one himself. championship recently that wouldn't have won championships if we were going off the old model. That's for damn sure. And Kyle Larson would have ran away with it when had to go to Homestead last year to win that championship. He, would he could have not raced the last three races last year under the old model. Yeah, it could have been won. like the old Gordon stuff. Like you just have to start. Okay. But, okay. No, but that's where I'm going to leave it for the week unless you got anything exciting. Anything else we missed? Nope, that's sorry. it for me. When I say we missed, I say anything that I missed because I don't have flow or dirt vision. So I miss all kinds of stuff. In fact, my DVR runs wild, which it's going to again. Because Meg's in town. She didn't say a word to me until Wednesday. She thought she's in Emerald Isle. We're going to Wilmington tomorrow to go eat at that restaurant, Sweet and Savory, again. There you go. The third time in 12 days. Guess what, people? If you're in the Wilmington, North Carolina area, 
go to sweet and savory. Get the shrimp and grits. You might not be able to stand afterwards. You might not be able to finish it, which I can every time. God. Damn, is it good. Best thing I ever put in my mouth. Shout out to Guy Fieri. Well, I'll put that in the description just to confuse people. But like, and a shout out to Guy Fieri. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. That's, that stuff was good. If Walter ever comes down here to be inside of a thousand miles of me, we're going there. Yeah. I'll give the boys like here you go. Just, like, just go. Please. Oh, I bet you they will. Here, right. E, be happy. Be merry. You guys have to split something that way. Those portions. They physically hurt me. I could just imagine what they would do to that small of a person. But I appreciate. He appreciates. We all appreciate everyone listening. Thank you for on the good pods, too. Keep it going. Keep sharing it out. Keep it growing. I get the emails. And I'm also doing it on Twitter under Jesse Rosinski under there. I share them all there just because I can actually go back on there now. And, you know, without getting blocked for saying hi. Yeah. But oh. videos are on YouTube and Rumble every time, every Friday when Walter's on here. Those also go on the Facebook page because I don't like sharing videos of just myself. It proves I'm not self centered because I don't want to look at my face. I don't even like listening to my voice. Neither does my chair, apparently. That was my chair, not my sphincter. But it was a good one. Again, watch the racing. You get flow racing, get dirt vision, like one of them, because you'll get good racing. If you want more racing that we don't talk about, sadly, you have to get one of those because it's the only place you're going to catch any of it. And again, I don't blame them. Look at all. I mean, streaming is the way to go right now. Unless you're Netflix. Yeah, Netflix, not so much. They're tanking themselves. They asked for it. They shall receive it. That's what All right. you get. Except for the F1 series. The F1 series that they do on their Drive to Survive, yeah, whatever it's yeah. called. That's actually a really good one. So watch that, but the rest that of us screw good. it. And, and I'll be back on Monday or Tuesday again, depending on how far behind I get, how much rain there is that throws stuff off, whatever. But I'll be back Monday or Tuesday. He'll be back on Friday. And, your yep, support your local tracks because they're racing everywhere. And I'm sure you guys that hear this aren't surrounded by rain all the time. So get some good local track. They need the funds. They need the support. As we build those up, that'll build up the whole racing world. And I'll be back on Monday or Tuesday. So enjoy your weekend. Be good to each other. Peace. Peace.